morning, kids and families of the heart. Welcome, 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 welcome. I am going to take you through another one of our movement prayers for kids. So before we start, I want you to get a prop for me to help engage the imagery of this particular psalm. Would you go to the kitchen and grab a glass of water or your kid's favorite drink and set that to the side? So let me give you some time to do that. This psalm engages the imagery of thirst as a way of thinking about how we feel about God. And interestingly enough, this song that we're going to read, this prayer, this was written by David during one of the periods of time he took refuge in the desert. So without any further ado, I'm going to read the psalm and then we're going to read it as we act it out to help engage the imagery of the psalms. Psalm 63, a psalm of David when he was in the desert of Judah. O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you. In a dry and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. They who seek my life will be destroyed. They will go down to the depths of the earth. They will be given over to the sword and become food for jackals. But the king will rejoice in God. All who swear by God's name will praise him while the mouths of liars will be silenced. Okay, so one of the theories of this whole experiment is the idea that the Psalms are a, a language of prayer. And so, you know, sitting and reading a Psalm with kids, guys, let's do that together, families. And at the same time, I can't help but feel that every time I've tried that, the kids get a little wiggly. So we're gonna embrace the wiggles and kids just letting you know we're gonna this is a part of the way that we're gonna talk to God this morning is acting out the imagery the language of this psalm to help us understand better how to pray to God and what he means to us so the key image in this psalm is thirst so we're gonna engage that a little bit and as well as the other images are you guys ready I think you know what I'm about to say let's get off the couch Okay, are you guys ready? Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you. In a dry and weary land where there is no water. All right, let's start with our good old binocular pose. Yeah, seek God. Good job, kids. But. We're seeking him in a thirsty place. Imagine if it was super, super hot, like you're in a desert. Wipe your brow. Where is the water? You're so, so thirsty. Can you act that out, kids? Oh my goodness. Isn't it exhausting to be in a desert? Do you crave God this much? Whew. All right. Parents, why don't you give your kids some water? Are you excited now? Kids, have a nice right. big sip. And if you're feeling special, some have some chocolate milk. Don't drop it. Yum. Okay. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. So let's do the temple pose. Yes, like a house. Like you're with God in his house. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. So why don't you hug yourself to remind you of God's love? It's better than That's something to celebrate. Let's celebrate. Let's glorify God with our lips. Blow him a kiss. I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name, I will lift up my hands. So we're gonna make prayer hands and then we're gonna lift our hands up. Are you ready? 
Praise God with your hands. My soul will be satisfied as with the richest of foods. So families, why don't you sit down and have a pretend picnic with your favorite foods? Meatballs and broccoli. Meatballs and broccoli and uses sushi, sushi and chopsticks. Okay. But, but I got chopsticks. Oh, I got sushi. Where do you really want one? Mine's a, a, a wait. Mine's a fried green tomato style from Comeback Shack. Did you know God is even more satisfying than that? Ooh. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. So families, can you join us in a sing-along? Here we go. Jesus loves me. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. <laughs> On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. So let's tuck our kids into bed here and think about God through the watches of the night. Nighty night, kids. Remember God. Yeah. Isn't that a wonderful thought? Because you are my help. I sing in the shadow of your wings. All right, you heard wings, so you know what's coming next. Let's flap. On your mark, get set, fly. Fly, 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 fly. And then parents, why don't you go ahead and pretend to be God and shield your kids in the shadow of your wings. Doesn't that feel nice, kid, to know you're safe in God's wings? My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. All right, this one's fun, parents. Can you uphold your kids with your right arms? <laughs> Mine are getting pretty heavy. I think my brother would say I need to hit the kettlebell a little bit more. Okay. They who seek my life will be destroyed. They will go down to the depths of the earth. Can you descend an imaginary set of stairs to engage this image? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Taylor came up with this one. Augustine really got into it. They will be given over to the sword and become food for jackals. <laughs> okay, maybe that was too dark. Let's do swords instead. Here you go. Draw your sword. But the king will rejoice in God. So let's put our crowns on, shall we? All who swear by God's name will praise him. Let's have a praise party. <laughs> While the mouths of liars will be silenced. So let's shush those liars, shall we? So kids, families, I hope this is helpful to try to experiment with our prayer life with our kids so that they can engage the rich imagery of the Psalms, even with the wiggles. And that way we find ourselves having a richer conversation with God. I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday morning and we'll see you later. Godspeed.